His, 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 it originally was P-I-T-T-Y, and uh, as it was, people called him Pity. It was originally from his grandmother, of course. It was something that she just stuck with him for, you know, for the duration. So when he got to Memphis, they kind of branded it, the University of Memphis, I would say, they branded it and changed it to Penny or whatnot. And uh, that's when the one cent symbol came available. Uh, you know, every every people just took it and ran out with it or whatnot. And uh, I mean, we just been here. We are. We got the he created the little penny doll. You know, uh, the Penny Hardaway shoes, of course, that everyone knows about. Uh, one of the top selling shoes in the United States right now. Um, I mean, everything. <laughs> he just branded it. They branded it at Memphis and changed it to Penny. And here we are speaking of Penny Hardaway. I'm Lakeith Crawford. Um, very much so familiar with Penny. Uh, been around him majority of my life, 36 years old. Uh, I've been around him since I was seven, for the most part. Um, a lot of people consider me as one of his personal assistants. The Celebrity Shop, uh, I think it was established, yeah, about five years ago. Um, a gentleman by the name of Chris Styles, uh, that's Penny's personal barber. Uh, it was something that they created, you know, decided to move it down here on Main Street. Um, you know, to basically bring more people in that comes in and visits, such as athletes, uh, other celebrity people. That's why it's called Chris Style Celebrity Barbershop, or more so Penny Hardaway Celebrity Barbershop. I mean, we love it here in Memphis. Uh, great group of guys that works in here uh, that represents Penny Hardaway brand very well. Watching this guy grow up to be who he is today, coming from our neighborhood and the way that we grew up, um, to basically, you know, have nothing living in poverty, uh, dealing with gangs, affiliation, um, dealing with so many different things, and, and he overcomes so much. And uh, the great thing about him, once he made it, we knew our entire neighborhood made it or whatnot, and he definitely, you know, led the way and, and paid the path, you know, uh, for a lot of people in Memphis and more so in our community. I can go on and on. I can write my own book. <laughs>